Today we're going to talk about congruence and right triangles. And the first thing we're going to go over is the height leg theorem. And that theorem is if you have two right triangles, if you know the hypotenuses are congruent and one of the legs is congruent, then it is a con or the two triangles are congruent. The reason you know that is because this angle or this side with the two hash marks um, represents an angle and I talked about that before and we'll get into why it does uh, later as we get into geometry. So since that side means angle as well, this side also means angle. So we know angle, angle side angle angle side so that's why the the theorem works so let's put this into practice and do a couple practice problems all right so we're given this these two triangles or one big triangle there and it's ABCD is the big one or ABC would be the big one and then ABD would be the small one one and then CBD and we need to prove these congruent. Well, I know a couple bits of information here. First, I know angle D equals 90 degrees. I also know that BD is congruent to BD because of the reflexive property. So if I wanted to prove these triangles congruent, all I would need to know is that AB is congruent to CB. If I knew that, then these are congruent based on the height hypotenuse leg theorem. If they're not congruent, then they're not congruent triangles. All right, so looking at another triangle. So if you look at the triangle WXY, it is an isosceles triangle. I know that because I got those two little lines on the outside there. So what I did to that isosceles triangle, I put a line down the, the middle. The reason I know it's down the middle is because these two little arcs here tell me that those angles are equal. If the angles are equal, then it's bisected. If it's bisected, then it goes straight down. If it goes straight down, then you know it's perpendicular to line WY. If you know it's perpendicular, you know it makes 90 degree angles. So you can put in your 90 degree angles there. The next thing you know is that since angle Y is 52 degrees, Angle W also has to be 52 degrees. That's one of the properties in an isosceles triangle. The two base angles have, are congruent because the two um, sides are congruent. To be a little more accurate, the two legs are accurate. Or not, the two legs are congruent, so the two angles have to be congruent on W and Y. So now all I need to do is find this missing angle up there at the top. Well, if I know in one triangle, or I can look at the big triangle, or I can look at one of the smaller triangles, it doesn't matter uh, which one I look at. Oh, that Z was a 7. Let's fix that. Uh, so I'm just going to pick one of the smaller ones. So I know I have a 90 and a 52 plus something. In this case, we'll call it angle A. Plus A equals 180. And then just simply solve. 90 plus 52 is 142 plus A equals 180. Subtract the 142 from both sides. And so my A angle equals 38 degrees. So this angle would be 38 degrees and this angle would be 38 degrees. If we solved it the other way, we would have had 52 plus 52 plus, we'll call it B in this case, because for both angles, 
equals 180. So 52 plus 52 is 104 plus B equals 180. Subtract the 104 from both sides. And I get B equals 76. So that's for both angles. And then I just take that 76 and divide it by 2. And I'm going to get 3 and 8. So I got the 38 degrees that way. So that's two different ways to solve uh, an isosceles triangle by turning it into right triangles. And again, you can prove that those are congruent based on the hypotenuse leg theorem. And we know that they're congruent because the hypotenuse, I have these tick marks, it's congruent. And then one of the legs is congruent because it's the same line. XZ is the same as XZ by the reflexive property. So those two triangles are proved congruent by the hypotenuse leg theorem.